Because at the same time the Obama administration officials are pledging uh, to lay off medical marijuana, the feds are also withdrawing street level authority for local cops to arrest people who are in this country illegally unless those people are also accused of committing some other substantive crime. So from now on, local cops like Phoenix Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who will be joining me for a robust debate in just a couple of minutes, are no longer authorized to enforce federal immigration law. Good idea or bad? Well, I think it's a bad idea, in part for the same reason that I mentioned on the marijuana. Why do you have a law if, you, if you're not going to enforce it? If you don't have the guts and the political power to change it, uh, then admit that it may not be a law that's ready to be changed. The executive branch job is not to make law, it's to enforce it. That's what it's supposed to do. I was in the executive branch as a governor. It was never my right to just say, I just don't like that law, so I'm not going to follow it. Again, can you put some priority? Yes. But to announce that you're just simply not going to uh, follow it at all, that's what you have a Congress for. When we start just completely delineating these lines, uh, or rather obliterating these lines between the executive, the judicial, and, and uh, con uh, the legislative branch, that to me is troubling because it starts blurring who we are as a government. So you're saying that because the Obama administration doesn't have the courage or the uh, political will or wherewithal to get comprehensive immigration reform passed, they're doing this through the back door? That's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to uh, satisfy a constituency that they can't fully satisfy by the change of a law. Uh, and they're, they're going after people like Joe Arpaio, who I think, you know, he, he's looking at his community and he's the elected sheriff of his community. And unless the people of his county say, we don't want him enforcing these laws, that's an election decision in that county. Now you have a federal agency superseding the local voters. Barack Obama can't get the congressmen from Arizona and the senators from Arizona and the rest of the states to give him the legal authority to change the law, so he's going to ignore it. And he's going to do that at the expense of a duly elected local sheriff who wants to carry out the laws that he has. That's the problem I have. Forget the, the philosophical. It could, you could argue this on any level. It's the precedent that it sets that, that troubles me. All right. Well, uh, Joe Arpaio certain, certainly is elected <laughs> in that sense yes, by the people is. of Maricopa <laughs> County. Great to see you, Harold. You too, Governor. Thank you very much. When we come back, Ann Coulter and Julian Epstein will debate the beginning of the end of reefer madness. And then on the issue of immigration, the immigration vigilante par excellence, uh, Sheriff Joe Arpaio tells me why he's telling Washington to shove it when it comes to the immigration law. That's after this. Let's uh, project forward now, leaving medical marijuana aside. I think the poll, the Rasmussen poll, is the end of the argument. I think if states decide to legalize medical marijuana, and I think that is the trend, it is going to happen. I believe that there has been a huge quantum shift, and there's no going back, at least uh, in our time, for good and for ill. I think that medical marijuana will be the law of the land. But, Julian, what do you think about sheriffs like Joe Arpaio, who joins me live in two minutes, uh, being stripped of federal authority to enforce uh, immigration law? Well, you've seen a lot of sheriffs and a lot of local law enforcement trying to interpret federal immigration's law, immigration laws and really going overboard. Immigration is the province and enforcement of immigration law is the province of the federal government. We have an immigration naturalization service with, with, with lots of police on the beat. I think we need to increase enforcement, but local law enforcement who aren't trained, who aren't familiar with the law, and frankly, we've seen abuses with local law enforcement. That's not the place where we need to be doing it. We need to, we need to have proper enforcement with the feds, and we do need to have immigration reform, I think. I, I, I got 30 seconds. I mean, Joe Arpaio has gone Overboard, I think. He he's not stopping kids with hair like Wait, yours. So he's stopping kids to... like my 21-year-old yeah, son. Well, he here. should be. Um, he should be? <laughs> yeah, it looks exactly like you. I would stop you constantly. <laughs> and and, and um, no blondes, no blue-eyed blondes? Hey, I'm answering now. Ten seconds. Uh, 10 seconds, he went on for 45 minutes. Um, so wait, you don't want to prosecute um, um, the drug laws because that's a state issue, but uh, crime and, and illegal immigrants and abortion, that, that, that's national. Joe's that's next, Sheriff okay. Joe's next.